to tough it out, but Sierra will be here on the first play from scrimmage. Gets the fake from Christ, who goes deep on the first play of the game. It's caught by Michael Floyd. And Floyd shakes the tackler and is racing down the field to the 10 and the touchdown. First play from scrimmage, and Christ strikes to Michael Floyd. It's an 80-yard touchdown pass. Dane Chris had a 95-yarder earlier this season to Kyle Rudolph. This one goes for 80 yards to Michael Floyd. Wow. Play action. Billy Cupid, the worst thing that could happen for him, and they worked against Lewis Toller, the best football player, I think, on Western Michigan's defense. David Ruffer for the point after. And Ruffer puts it through. So Dane Crist throwing the touchdown pass is 12th of the season. And it's play action working against Lewis Toller. Toller bit on the double fake, and that was just a real good job by Floyd adjusting to the football. Toller with an awful lot of air between him and the free safety. And don't forget, look at Dane Crist. That's a good way to start, isn't it, Tom? <laughs> one for one for 80. And the Irish celebration. First play from scrimmage. Bang! They go 80 yards for the touchdown. Dean led Floyd away from Toller. Free safety was occupied. And that big body of Michael Floyd caught the football. Has a little bit of a hamstring. But still you can see how explosive that kid is. Michael Floyd uh, battling a little injury himself. Looked good on that one though as he shook Toller's would-be tackle and romped 20 or 80 yards for the 20th touchdown reception of his career. So it'll be a rougher kicking off. We saw Nick Tosh. So the person who centered the ball had an eligible number and went out for a pass. Now conventional formation and a handoff to Drake. Hit behind. Wow. The line and decked by Manti Teo. <laughs> oh, man. Not only do you see this hit, but you can hear and feel this hit. Watch Teo just explode right here to the quarterback, to the football. Bang! Wow! Both feet go vertical. Great hit. Coach of the game outgained Western Michigan 111-61, to but take away the 80 yards of that big pass play, and the Broncos had the edge, 61-31. to First down pass, picked off. Intercepted by Darius Fleming. And that's what they're looking for from Fleming. The ability to both rush the quarterback and in that 3-4 defense also drop off and read the quarterback's eyes. Here he is right here. Are you coming or dropping? 45 degree angle, looks up the route. That is picture perfect. Flips the head, sees the football and intercepts it. Carter's got to know better. You have to see the underneath coverage. But, Tom, that's textbook by Darius Fleming. And Fleming able to tiptoe, getting a foot in before going out of bounds. Carter picked off for Alex Carter. His eighth interception, I believe, this season, Tom. And, and that's the one that, you know, when you're in a tight ball game against a big team like Notre Dame, that's the mistake you can't afford. So ten touchdown passes. And the interception, the eighth, as Mike said. Maybe that'll get... Notre Dame back on track. Here's a reverse. Goodman going to throw a pass. Goodman for the end zone for Floyd who makes the catch and has the Irish touchdown. <laughs> John Goodman, the high school quarterback, on the reverse pass for the touchdown, 32 yards. He was Tyler Eifert's high school quarterback. Notre Dame saying, okay, you're going to go polecat on us. We're going to go reverse pass on you. Goodman, an all-state quarterback at Bishop Glinger High School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And now David Ruffer for the extra point. Right down the middle. So Darius Fleming with an interception for a big play on the Irish defense. And now Dane Chris congratulates the offensive unit. A John Goodman touchdown pass to Michael Floyd. 21st TD pass reception for Floyd. 
Four wide receivers. Shotgun formation for Carter. Looks one way, the other. Across the middle, catch made. Jordan White. And fumble recovered by Notre Dame. The second straight takeaway by the Irish as White made what would have been a first down catch. Ball comes loose and Notre Dame recovers. Jordan White is a fifth-year senior, and you can't make this kind of mistake in a game where you're a clear underdog. Comes off the line, knows its zone, makes the catch. Now, at this point, you've got to tuck that football away the entire way. You can see the ball down by his knee, recovered clearly by Ethan Johnson. Well, they're going to review to see if his knee was down before the fumble. He rocks. First down line. Second and seven. Chris, all kinds of protection. Crossing route to Riddick. Riddick shakes one man. Gets by another inside the 10 yard line. First and goal, Notre Dame. Doug Wiggins, after a gain of 12, makes the tackle for Western Michigan. Now, I thought Dane was late on his read here. He had Michael Floyd up top, one on one. He chose to bring it down underneath the Riddick, and it's, it's the explosive quickness of the former running back that turned that into a 12 yard gain. First down, Irish. First and goal from the nine. Crisp. Touchdown. Dane Crisp with the fourth rushing touchdown of the season. Ryan Kelly sending his quarterback to the corner of the end zone as he speaks with the Michael Floyd, who already has the other two Irish touchdowns. Notre Dame getting the ball deep in Bronco territory. They take advantage of it for the touchdown. And David Ruffer will attempt the point after. And that is blocked. Blocked. Good play by the... Special teams of the Broncos is Drew Novak pounding his chest and I did it. Look, Dane Crest able to sprint into the corner of the end zone. It's 20 to 7 Irish. Four wide receivers on second and ten. Blitz! Carter's hit and somehow got rid of the football. There's Carter. Nunez makes the catch. Wow. Anti Teo <laughs> was there almost simultaneously with the release of the football. How do you do it? Yeah, this is how you earn respect as a quarterback. Watch the hit Manti puts on, yet somehow he completes it. Wow. Big hit by Teo but still completed by Carter. That's why I like this kid so much. Third down and two. Carter. Pass intercepted. Picked off by Gary Gray. Gray's first interception of the season. Carter again in the teeth of the rush. Throws the interception. Third turnover for the Broncos. Wow. And Bill Kubitz's team with their third turnover really has hurt their cause. Two interceptions, that's the second, and a fumble lost. And that really is on the receiver, Nunez. He stopped and hesitated on a slant, and Carter was trying to put it on him in hitting the intended route. I don't know why he hesitated. Give the defense it's touching, and, and it's appropriate for this month. October Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Chris rolling, got some pressure and a block, and then has wide open, Eifert, Eifert, touchdown! First touchdown of his Notre Dame career, the sophomore from Fort Wayne, wide open for the TD on fourth down. And that was a bust from the very snap, Eifert was uncovered and finally Chris found him. They come with a blitz off the edge.
So Tyler Eifert will kick off after a 39-yard touchdown pass to Tyler Eifert. First kickoff on the bounce to Fields. Out of the end zone. Touchback. So the Broncos from the 20. You know, just a moment ago on the touchdown to Eifert, two consecutive timeouts, and they still bust the coverage. You're going to get a blitz here, and the free, the strong safety, Mario Armstrong, coming over to man-to-man -to -man on Eifert. Now watch what happens when he comes over. There's the blitz. It looks like he's lined up, but now he's coming over towards the running back. You got a bust right here. Nobody anywhere near Eifert. Chris does a good job finally getting his eyes down the field as he scrambles and converts it for a big touchdown. First down from the 20. Teo showed blitz and backed out of it. And Carter able to get Arnheim. That's six yards on first down. Carlo Calabrese made Armheim pay for that one. Keep it in trouble. Got rid of it. Catch made and a first down Arnhem. Arnhem able to break the tackle of Mata and gets the first down. A gain of 17. A big conversion by the Broncos offense. Carter kept another play alive. Nick two by two. Typically what you see up here is some kind of little pick action. And they're working a three by two down here with Notre Dame's defensive backs. Quarterback draw. Carter untouched for the score. How about Bill Cubitt? Last thing you expected was a run of any kind. <laughs> and that's what <laughs> and it really was Anthony Parker on Darius Fleming that makes the key block and I give Cubit a ton of credit because if it doesn't score the odds are you're going to have to sprint back to the line of scrimmage and try and spike it to get that extra play. Second touchdown run today by Carter in the sixth of the season as Carter boots the extra point through the uprights. What well, impressive drive by the Broncos just before halftime. 15 seconds left in the first half. And the key touchdown right here, Anthony Parker, the left tackle, is going to get a piece and reach block right here on Darius Fleming. Fleming's outside of him. See the steps? He's going to force him inside now just enough so that Carter gets the edge and the touchdown. Hmm. The big play is leading the Broncos 27 to 17. Notre Dame... Uh, Sort of feast or famine in that first half. Played well at times, not so well at others. And the Broncos hanging in there against the heavily favored Irish. So it's a 10-point game at halftime as we go down to Alex. Coach, penalties keeping a number of drives alive for the Broncos. Assess this last uh, drive for them. Well, we think that uh, we've arrived defensively, obviously, and uh, we played like we thought we were a great defense and forgot to come out here and play the way we played all year, and that is attention to detail, play hard, do your job, sloppy football. Let's walk and get you out of the band here. What? Um, how do you? I mean, you have to clean that up in the second half. How do I clean it up? There's nothing you can do to clean it up unless your players decide that they're going to play the game better. They they've been coached to play it better. It's now it's up to them to decide that they want to do that. All right, coach. Thank you, Tom. Back up to you. All right, Alex. We'll see if they're able to do that in the second half, as it is at intermission. Notre Dame leading 27 to 17. Plenty ahead now. Stay tuned for the Discover Halftime Report. Don't forget the halftime performances of the Western Michigan and Notre Dame bands can be seen at NBCSports.com.